Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to write the program for our spiral traversal of the matrix. So in first program, I am going to make two programs. In first program, we'll print the matrix in spiral order, just what what we saw in the last video. So we'll see how we can do this. So let's let's do this. Let me create a function named spiral. Left spiral. And what are the parameters of this function? M is the number of rows then n is the number of columns and a is the is my matrix so a is actually a list of list uh, through which i am representing a matrix let me define two variables one is k equal to 0 and l is equal to 0 let me tell you what these variables are k is actually the starting index of the row which is 0 and l is the starting index of the column which is also 0 we know that m is the number of uh, rows in the matrix and n is the number of columns in the matrix so let me write this down uh, you you guys already know that if you want to comment multiple lines you have to do with this uh, then you can comment multiple lines so let me write this k is uh, index and m uh, l is the index of starting column. okay now what we have to do we have to first print the first row the first row should be fully printed then we have to shift to the last column and print the or print all the elements of last column so let me write a while loop while see k k is the index of the starting row uh, starting row index while k is less than m it means that k is when I am going through all the elements of row, so I am exhausting all the rows. If I am getting over all the rows, then I should not print anything because my rows are over. So K should be less than M and L should be less than N. What do, what do I mean? L is the starting column index. So all my columns are exhausted. So when all my rows and end, all my columns are exhausted, I have to stop the loop. Okay, while K is less than M and L is the less than N. First, I have to do is uh, since I am starting, first what I have to do, I have to print all the elements of first row. For that, let me write a loop. For i in range, see elements of first row. Okay, I have to exhaust all the elements through all the columns. So I have to go through first column index, second column index, uh, keeping my row fixed. I have to first go through the first column, second column, third column, fourth column and so on. So my row index is fixed. I have to just uh, traverse through the column. So I will, so my range will be L to N. But keep this in mind that this N is whenever we type range, range starts from an, what suppose you write in the parameter you give in range is uh, 0, 0,5. So it will go like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 not up to 5 okay so hence i am writing n because n is my number of elements number of columns okay so suppose if i give 4 it will go to and l is 0 so it will go 0 1 2 3 4 times but it will not go up to 4 as 4 so i can safely write here n okay inside this loop i'll print my elements which are print a see my row is fixed Okay, so I will just write k here because the first uh, k is the index of first row and i. So I have to print, I have to traverse through all the columns. So i is my column index. So row is fixed, row is 0 and I will print all the elements of the first row through this. You all know that if I have to print uh, the elements in one line with a space, I have to do like this and with uh, apostrophe uh, inverted comma sorry awesome after this when the first row is over i have to go to the second row but i have to see i have to go to the second row let me show this yeah when the first row is over one two three four i have to go to the second row so second row is important so now here see second row second row but i have to print all the elements of last column 8 12 
16. So in this traversal, the my column is fixed. I have to traverse through all the remaining rows. See, remaining rows are second row, third row, and fourth row. But the column is fixed. Column is the last column. So I'll do this. So let's see this uh, before, so that we don't forget here. Let me comment this. Commenting is the best practice. Uh, you you guys should comment every time whenever you write a code, so that when you revisit, you you can understand what you wrote. And anyone who is trying to understand your program or trying to reinvent your program or uh, use your program can understand what you did. So it's better to comment. So let me write here what we did. We print the first row. So printing the first row from the remaining rows so after this is over when my elements of first row are printed first okay i have to go to the second row so i'll do k plus is equal to one which means that now i am on the second row those uh, row index has been increased k is my row index which started from zero but now it it is on the first i mean the second row which is k is equal to 1 now i have to print the elements of last column now here now here i have to traverse through the remaining rows okay and my column should be fixed so let me write this for i in range my column is fixed remember so i have to traverse through the rows so which is k to m that's it because i already incremented my k so it will go to the remaining case the last uh, row m is the uh, last row index because m is the number of rows awesome so i will just print here print a i have to traverse through rows so i and column is fixed which is what n minus one now why here n minus one because again i have to say this because n is the number of columns so suppose my number of columns are four since every time list starts from zero so here it should be suppose number of columns are four and number of rows are four also so i have to put to in order to be in the last column i have to put three here because array uh, list always starts from zero so three here i have to put for that i am putting n minus one here i put k only because k is already zero so i don't have to take care of uh, minus one here but here i have to take care of it. okay again i will write and is equal to great now my last column is over last column is over means i have to shift my column to the second last what do i mean by the second last since now here n is pointing at let's say if uh, number of rows and number of column of 4 4 n was pointing at 4 so n minus 1 was 3 now i have to shift to the last column so sorry, second last column so that for that i have to do n minus equal to let me again comment this line printing the last the remaining column awesome. this is done now here is some tricky part let's see this now we are on the last second last column and last row second last column so we did this now we have to print this okay See the tricky part here is we have to print it in the reverse order. This is the reverse order. 16 after that 15, 14, 13 we have to go in the reverse order. For that what we will do if we have to check the number of rows are not exceeding uh, the row index is not exceeding the number of rows. Why I am doing it again here. See I did already checked it in the while loop but it might happen that after this condition the k might become uh, let's say 5 which should not happen here we should not happen. if k become 5 and it comes here and i am not stating this condition then there is a bug in the program so for that i have to put that condition again inside this if if it is fine then i will write for i in range okay now what i have to do i have to start from the second last column i already decremented my uh, n by minus one so i am already on the second last column since n is the number of columns i will start from n minus one where i have to go i have to go to the first column first column is indexed zero now it might happen that since we are doing a generalized program it might happen it might not go to the zero it, it may uh, for example in this part when i'm printing 11 and 10 i have to go to 10 only i don't have to go to 9 only. 10 after the uh, 11 after the 10 okay so i have to go i have to go to the last starting column index starting column index is 4 now it is 0 okay 
for now it is zero but it may not be zero after some time so for that i will write l minus 1 because again the range range doesn't go to the uh, doesn't include this value it doesn't include this value but i need this value so for that i need l minus 1 so that it can go to l except l since i'm going in the reverse order i mean i'm decrementing it for n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 and up to l i will have to go so i will have to write here as minus 1 minus 1 is my step so by default step is always 1 positive 1 so you always go 1 2 3 4 5 suppose you want to go 5 to 1 5 4 3 2 1 we have to write here you will start from 5 and up to 0 if you want to go up to 1 and minus 1 so then it will go 5 4 3 2 1 this is my step function okay so i'll go up to l minus 1 and inside i'll just print my array a m minus 1 row row minus 1 i'll start last row because i'm in the last row and m minus 1 because m is the number of rows and simply that's it great i'm done with the last row also okay so i'll i'll decrement my rows okay because now on the last row I, I want to go to the second last row so i'm here i'm i was here i printed all the elements of this row i have to go to the second last so i have to decrement my row index not row index i mean number of rows which is n minus this is done now next is again let me comment this line so that i don't forget printing the last row from remaining rows okay now what is left i am on the let's say second last row i have to print the elements in the second last row i have to print i have to okay second last row i have to print the elements of the first column now in reverse order again Okay, I have to do this in reverse order again. So for that again, I have to check if L is less than N. Okay, if L is less than N, then inside this I will write a loop for I in range M minus one because M is already decremented here and I want to start from the second last row, second last row to where the first row I have to go until first row so k minus 1 okay because i have to go until k k whatever k is so for now k is pointing at the second uh, row because we printed the elements of first row here and we incremented our k to the second row so i want to go to the to up to the second row so that's why i am writing k minus 1 here okay and again step function is minus 1 because i have to decrement okay and here i will write print a i of l that's it it's pretty obvious now awesome this is done i'll just increment my l here because again let me tell you l is the l was the starting column index so after i printed this first column all the elements of first column i have to go to the second column once i printed this i have to go to the second column and again do the same thing which i did here I have to do this, this thing again here and then next thing here and next thing here and next thing here nothing is there sorry so this loop will take care of it okay that's why you wrote this loop so let me comment this again printing the first column from the remaining column awesome this is done our program is ready we printed everything now let me create my array so let array is a okay for i in range how many rows i want i want four rows for j in range again four columns let me create a index a list here l let's say and uh for now let me add the elements uh, like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 up to 16 so i'll take the count variable and put it one in here i'll just append the count variable and increment it okay so i have the elements 
fit. So J will take care of my rows. I have the elements of first row. Let's say after the first loop of uh, the after the first loop of J is over, I will append that that list L, whatever I got after this uh, loop in the uh, in the in my array A, in my matrix A. So A dot append L. That's it. My A is over. I have my A, and I will call the functions by run. So number of Let's say uh, rows are four, number of columns are four. Okay. Now let's see this. Okay. Let's see. Sorry. Hmm. I got my spiral traversal 1 2 3 4 then 8 12 16 15 14 13 9 5 6 7 11 10 is it yeah i think so 1 2 3 4 8 12 16 15 14 13 9 5 6 7 11, 10 cool so this is over uh, you can check this you can write in a different way. This is one of the way of writing uh, this, uh, this program, the spiral traversal. You can uh, write in a different way also. You can create your own logic. There is another way which is known as recursion, but I'm not. We are not. Uh, we will not cover this because it might get a little bit complicated. But it is very cool. So you might you, you may check that spiral. Uh, how we can write a recursive program to print the elements in spiral order. So see this and we are going to use this logic of spiral traversal in our, in our main program which is creating the pattern.